Look at this cute pencil case I found for you. Cute? You're kidding, right? I can't be seen with that. I want a Kipling pencil case. Oh, no. This one's like ten times more expensive. Mia, they both get the job done just fine. How about we get this one and save some money? I don't care if they both get the job done. If I show up to school with that ugly thing, it'll be so embarrassing. <sighs> it's not that bad. No, uh, I need to have the best of everything. I'm getting this. I love Aaron Bradby's new collection. How about this one? Ew, I can't put my food in that. Well, what's wrong with it? Look, either I'm getting the Vera Bradley or I'm not eating lunch. Do you want me to starve? I didn't think so. All right, I think you got everything you need for school, so. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I need this. Oh, honey. I don't think you need an expensive quilted backpack for school. What about this one? These are good backpacks and it's a third of the price. Ew, no way. But you've already got everything else you've wanted. And this backpack is like $100 more? No, 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 no! I need one that matches my lunch bag. I, no, mm -mm. Don't you love me? Yes, of course I love you, but- Then we're getting this one. I can't believe how much you spent. This is most people's monthly rent. I know. I tried to convince her to choose something more affordable, but she just threw a fit. Well, what did you have when you were a kid? I mean, did you have a $50 pencil case? Of course not. You know I grew up poor. I had a plastic bag for a pencil case and I packed my lunch in a brown paper bag and we were so broke that instead of having a backpack, I had to use a grocery store tote. Okay, why don't you explain that to her? Maybe if you tell her about how you had it when you were growing up, she'll be able to appreciate more of it. Ugh, I'm so hungry, yeah. Why isn't there anything good to eat? I want sushi. Do you want to tell her? So spill all the tea, tell me about your guys' stuff. Horrible. You should tell him about Jacob. No way. Ew, that's one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. What are you talking about? That thing on your back, Opfi. It's just a backpack. No, this is a backpack. Complete with a matching lunchbox, of course. That's good for you guys. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh, nothing. It's just your lunchbox doesn't even match your backpack. And it looks like something a kindergartner would wear. My little sister's in kindergarten and she would not wear anything like that. <laughs> No way! My mom tried to give me one of these, and I told her I wouldn't be caught dead with something like this. For real. <laughs> give it back, Mia. Yes. Knock it off! Oops. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, come on. I'm doing you a favor. I mean, that pencil case is so cheap and ugly anyways. You should have your mom buy you a new one. My parents don't have enough money to buy me a new one. Sucks to be you then. <laughs> <laughs> Mia Connolly, what do you think you're doing? You do not speak to your fellow students that way. And I need you to apologize to Lydia this instant. Apologize for what? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Brokey. <laughs> We're so disappointed in you. We thought we raised you better than this. What made you think it was okay to be so mean to that girl? Lydia was asking for it. <laughs> I mean, 
She's lucky I didn't say anything about her clothes. <laughs> you should have seen them. Look, Mia, not everyone is as fortunate as you. Just because mommy and daddy can afford to buy you very nice things doesn't give you the right to make fun of children who have less privilege than you. Your mom is right. You have to be more sensitive to the fact that a lot of kids your age are not able to have what you have. Whatever, we're rich. So what if other kids don't have money? That's not my problem. Can you even understand how little your mom and dad had when we were growing up? Don't know, don't care. Hmm. You know what? Enough is enough. Mm -hmm. Since you want to be this way, we're taking away your Kipling pencil pack, your Vera Bradley backpack, and you can say goodbye to the matching lunch bag. Bye-bye. Hmm. What? No. That's so unfair. You can't take my stuff away. Oh, yes, we can. Because clearly you're not going to learn how to appreciate them until they're taken away. And until you learn your lesson, Dad is going to lock them away. <sighs> say goodbye. What am I supposed to use instead? We have just the thing. Here you go. That. Ew. Guess that's what I get for leaning into the best friend. Now I've got no more accent. Too less hands here for holding. Ignore all of my reasons for running far from my feelings. Now I'm down on my knees and watching you as you're leaving. I can't believe how mean other kids can be. You were right, Mom. About what? When you said I won't appreciate what I have until it's gone. I feel bad for the way I treated Lydia now. I like to hear that. It sounds like you truly learned your lesson. Which means that you can get your stuff back. Seriously? Absolutely. Oh my gosh. I'm never gonna take this for granted again. I hope not. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, um, Lydia, wait up. Can I talk to you? Why? So you can make fun of me some more? No, uh, I promise. I just wanted to say sorry for the way I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Thanks. I appreciate that. And to show you how sorry I really am, I wanted to give you this. No, I know how expensive that stuff is. I insist. Plus, I broke your last one. Are you sure? Yeah. Thanks. This really means a lot. Well, I'll see you at school tomorrow. Wait, are your parents not picking you up? We, uh, actually don't have a car. So I just walk home. Oh my gosh, do you want a ride? I'm sure my parents wouldn't mind. No way! You guys have a Porsche? I've never been in one before. If you want, you could come to my house and then we could drop you off. Sure, that sounds fun. <laughs> Let's go. Hey mom, hey dad, I'm 